In this video, I have a look at some feedback effects and touch designer on my screen with the webcam input, and I take it through to the studio to try out. I mount a short throw projector and have some problems with light for filming and camera angles. So I took another touch designer tutorial, um, this time looking at displacement and feedback operators, and I'm using a webcam as the video input. In these clips, I've got um, a little bit of feedback on the webcam and also a tiny bit of displacement. So I'm not so keen on kind of glitchy or very pixelated effects. Um, I much prefer organic and smooth aesthetics, um, which this effect it really does, it's very flowing. I tried out masking the background with the big scarf. And so here I added an edge effect um, after the main effect for a little bit of definition. It was an awful lot of fun. Um, it's a bit like a time warp, like gazing into a fun mirror. Uh, it's time to move away from my desk and take this into a real space. Okay, this looks fine for the purposes of the test run. So it helps if you can see most of the screen when you are trying to get your projector menu up. So it's not the first time that I've had to make a pretend screen. So this is my uh, mock-up projector stand and my uh, laptop desk. So from the bits that I can see, uh, it looks great blown up in a large scale. I love the effect, uh, it gives me motivation to go and get everything set up, take some time, um, figure out how it might work, recruit some bodies to help with the testing. Yeah, it's been really valuable just to get something uh, set up in, in the studio because sitting at the desk, you're never gonna think about these things like you need to have a light source on your face because you're using the camera, which is generating the effects. Um, where are you gonna position the camera? Can it be seen? Yeah, how close can people get before the shadows come in? Is that important? Need to get a longer HDMI cable. Um, that is number one on my list because I am stuck in this corner. I can't really see the screen and myself. Yeah, so for now, uh, this is probably the best setup where I've got the, the built-in laptop camera. I've got a light coming in from um, above my head. It's not ideal, but it's okay for today. I've learned a lot by just getting out here and setting everything up really quickly. And I think I will, I will mount the correct projector because obviously my shadow uh, is going to be in the way. I do have a short throw projector that I need to mount. I'm going to put a bar across the top here and um, install it. So today, today I installed the ultra short throw projector. Um, I had heard they're quite fiddly and I would agree. This one has a 20% offset, which means that the image is not going to start in the same line of the projector being mounted, but it's going to start 20% of the total height of the image um, lower. Unfortunately, in this space, I don't have the height to mount it any higher, but even if I could, it wouldn't help. The projector is quite bright, and while I physically could um, get coverage over the whole wall, uh, there's a really narrow range of focus. There's no uh, way of adjusting the focus at all. It's recommended to be installed about 80 centimeters from the projection surface. So this gives me a height of about six foot, which is absolutely fine for testing. Um, so I have mounted it with the lens about a meter away from the wall, um, it's a little tiny bit out of focus, but I needed it to get the, the width. So as for any projector, you really need to know the, the size of the image you need and where you're going to be able to mount it um, if you want it to be a particular size. Purposes of testing today, this is fine. Uh, I think the white stripes on my jumper is popping out the most, um, probably because I've got the edge feature on it as well. It's giving it some extra outlines. So I've turned up the light in this space for the purposes of getting more light um, from the webcam feed. So I've tried a few different combos with the direction of the overhead lights and the computer, the webcam, and it is quite fiddly and a bit of a pain. Yeah, there is quite a few things to consider if you are going to use um, a camera for this kind of effect. Um, however, I'm not too concerned because I have ordered a Connect and I hear that they're very good for things like this. So I'm not too worried, but I wanted to try this out as an exercise. Anyway, and I had to lock this fluffy one out of the room. 